Hey everybody, good morning. It's that time again here in sunny North Carolina. It's time for Sunrise Sunday. I'm uh, glad to see you. I'll be right back. Another day, and I'm grateful to be here. I hope you're grateful to be alive today, whatever time it is for you. For me, uh, it's morning time here. Long night, I didn't sleep much, but I'm grateful to be alive. Another day here, and I get to be with my family shortly with uh, a time for us to reflect on God's Word and uh, a time for each other just to be together today. I'm glad for that. And uh, in my time this morning of, of reading different scriptures, I, I found another proverb that I'd like to share with you. And uh, it's a little longer. It's Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. So I recorded that for you. And I hope that you'll listen to it real quick. Here it is. Keep vigilant watch over your heart. That's where life starts. Don't talk out of both sides of your mouth. Avoid careless banter, white lies, and gossip. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Ignore all sideshow distractions. Watch your step. And the road will stretch out smooth before you. Look neither right nor left. Leave evil in the dust. So if you've been following along with me here at all, you know that the past few days I've been talking about a topic called aware and self-awareness. And I chose that scripture this morning because it says several things about that. And uh, the message is a pretty cool version by Eugene pa uh, Patterson, uh, Peterson rather. And uh, I thought it, it really brought out that meaning in English pretty well, and some, some nuggets there that you might have heard. Um, one that kind of stuck out to me was, well, a couple of them. One was, don't, don't talk out of both sides of your mouth, right? So you, you say one thing to people and, and you say something to somebody else. Uh, when I was in the military, uh, one of the things that really bothered me was um, I got to work with a lot of, of upper end leadership and a lot of times when you get in leadership, if you allow it, you can have competition get in the way. And, and then sometimes some competition gets in the way. We got something that, that we call uh, butt kissing. <laughs> All right, so that's a place where, where you do things and say things <clears throat> to other people so that it will benefit you, right? You'd be really nice to somebody, say good things to somebody, get somebody a cup of coffee, whatever the case may be, because they can do good things for you. Well, the other case is, while you're being nice to this person, bringing them coffee and, and, and giving them all kinds of accolades, um, when you're with everybody else, you're saying, that guy's such a jerk, I can't stand him, I can't wait till he's out of here, one way I'm gonna have his, one day I'm gonna have his job, right? All those types of things. and. And that's talking out of both sides of your mouth, all right? And then one of the last things that that scripture said in Proverbs, you can read it for yourself later, Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. Again, I, I read it to you from the message today. It says to leave evil in the dust. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to the desert. I used to live in the desert. Um, when I was in the military, I, I was stationed in the desert. And... And to say to leave evil in the dust is that you're moving out, right? You're creating a cloud behind you, which is the dust of the ground. And, and to leave evil in the dust means that no matter what temptation may come my way, no matter what I may be facing, no matter how much I may not care for somebody, I'm going to leave evil in the dust. I'm going to run from those things. So instead of talking out of both sides of my mouth, I'm going to say one thing. And what you see is what you get. Now, are we perfect people? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do we make mistakes? Absolutely. Now, is there an opportunity to repent and to turn, which means to turn away from and do no more and no longer sin. Sin is a word that means missing the mark. It came from an archery term where they had a bow and arrow and phew, they shot. And when they missed the the bullseye, it was called a sin. So when you missed the bullseye, when you missed that part, you've missed the mark, it's called a sin. Okay, so it's so much, thing. it's so much easier to one, be self-aware, like do you have tendencies to feel 
neglected? Do you have tendencies to feel needy? Do you have tendencies to feel like you need acceptance, right? Some of those things could happen. Or do you have a tendency to, to, uh, to, to be a bulldozer, a bully, and push people over to get what you want? Uh, there's lots of ways to think about that both sides of the mouth, both sides of your, your brain, right? So I just want to encourage you uh, as this week comes to be self-aware. Be aware of the things that are happening in your life. Be aware of who you are, not who you think you are, not who you thought you've been all your life, but take you out of the equation and, and step out and look at yourself and examine some things. And if you were somebody else, what would you say to you, <laughs> right? So do you need to leave evil in the dust yourself? I don't know, it could be. Maybe you're doing great. If that's the case, then it's an awesome opportunity to lovingly and humbly share that with other people. That's leadership. And being self-aware is an opportunity to, uh, to really know more about yourself so you can actually be a benefit to somebody else. This is a lot of heavy stuff on the front side of this today, but the positive side, the plus side of this is as you are more aware of who you are and what you do and how you do things, how you say things, you know, the better it could be for others. Now, I, I must confess that I, I'm far from perfect. I'm definitely a work in progress. I can snap at people. I can be harsh and I can be passive aggressive. I have these things that happen in my life. I used to be a drug addict and alcoholic, so I have a, I have a, um, a high ability for addiction to things. Um, so, you know, a lot of times when you're addicted to things, sometimes you do things to get those things and you really have a lot of uh, inner passion to do it that sometimes supersedes your, your knowledge of what to do that's right. <laughs> you just bypass it, you screw up, right? Okay, so that's where we say leave evil in the dust. All right, one more time I'm gonna give you, no, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so I want you to read today, Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. I'd love to hear your feedback today in some comments here. Um, also yesterday, uh, it's getting a lot of views. I posted uh, the flip chart on self-awareness. If you get a chance, go to my post yesterday and you can download it for free. I'd love for you to do that. And I've got four areas in there that I've, uh, that I've accumulated over years of talking to people, coaching and counseling into four areas of self-awareness. And that's not all of them, it's just four of them. And I thought that it might be something that would, um, you know, be important to you. Something that you might find of yourself. I believe that you're gonna find that you are actually one of those four. And sometimes as people were transparent and honest enough uh, in the post to say, you may be more than one right now. So it'd be awesome to check that out and, you know, do some, do some self-awareness checkup for yourself. It's called, I call it a, a flip chart. It's a checkup chart for yourself, all right? Also, don't forget one quick plug. Tuesday, this week, August 4th, 7 p.m. I'm trying to get this focused because I'm holding my camera. Tuesday, August the 4th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's my time here in the United States. That's the New York time if you look at the world clock. All right, 7 p.m. the 4th of August. If you are in coaching, want to be in coaching, are you in business and you're trying to, to get customers right now and you're having a difficult time and you don't even have a great presence on, on social media. Maybe you do have a great presence, but you're just having a rough time. All right, so we're doing a webinar for free on Tuesday on how to add an additional three to $5,000 a month to your income through coaching. Um, it's a fantastic program. It's great, great uh, tools, great knowledge. Uh, there will be a call to action, of course, but there's, there's no obligation to attend. And to attend, you get some fantastic information that's gonna be beneficial to you. I'll be there and my friends, Chad and Holly Oxted are hosting the webinar and you would be happy to sign up for it, I guarantee you. So um, you can go to the link that I posted for that uh, on LinkedIn, on my activity side again, you can go there and find the post for the event I'll actually post it inside this post as well. So you can click on the link, go there and register. You have to register to be at the event. Now, do you have to be there at 7 p.m. Eastern time? I know it's difficult for everybody because of time zones. So the answer is no, but you have to register to be able to get the replay, all right? So I encourage you register, whether you think you may or may not, just do it anyway. So you can at least be registered and have the opportunity for a replay later on, all right? But would love for you to be there live because there's a chance to do questions Q&A during the chat time, all right? So I'll give you one quick, video on that and then we'll get ready to say goodbye.
All right, one more time. Don't forget that is this Tuesday the 4th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can click on the link that I will put in the post here today. I'll, I'll go back and edit that after this. So if you're watching live, um, give me a few minutes. I'll go back and put that link in here so you can click on it. Or you can go to the original post and click on that. All right, so you have to register to be at the event or the replay. Would love to be the, see you there. Back to the whole thing about today's su Sunrise Sunday in Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. It's an opportunity for you really to examine inside yourself and know when to go. It reminds me of a song. I just thought about it from Kenny Rogers, right? You gotta know when to hold up, know when to fold up, know when to walk away, know when to run. All right, I said it really fast, but that's, that's so true. You got to know when it's time to say no. When you say yes to something, you're always saying no to something else. When you're saying no to something, you say yes to something else. So it's so important to understand what those things are in your own life internally. So externally, you get incredible results. All right, my friends, Thank you for being here for another Sunrise Sunday. I'm so thankful for you and excited for this week to come. Stay tuned for all I've got going. I've got a bunch of videos on awareness you're gonna love. Check out the flip chart that you can download on self-awareness and sign up for the uh, webinar I've got going this Tuesday at, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I've got even more stuff happening this week with the announcement of some new shows, but um, that'll be it for now because I wanted to keep this a little shorter here for Sunrise Sunday. I love you all. God bless you. Thanks for being here.